Hi. Hello, I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Channel. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy. We have some time and the internet is kind of working. So we thought we would record and see if we could send out a video Yeah. while we're on our cruise ship this week. Because we're supposed to be doing a live stream tonight. Um, yeah, Tuesday that's night. not going to happen. No. Not with no. the service that we're getting. It's been... <laughs> It's been terrible. Um, now, this is one of the first ships that, uh, so we're on a Royal Caribbean cruise right now, but there are people at home, so don't try to rob us. It's not going to work. Yes. Um, but this is one of the first Royal Caribbean cruise ships that have been outfitted with Starlink mm -hmm. for the, the downlink for, to the internet. And it's faster, way, way faster. faster than last year. Like, yeah. in, if you wake up at like five or six in the morning, you can get some pretty sweet bandwidth, like yeah. like fifty megabits a second down, which so is really, like really we should have made a video at five in the morning, uh, right? Uh, but still, the latency is terrible, and yeah. it's a very spotty connection. So better to just record something and upload it. But anyway, yeah, we tried to like Miriam tried to do a video call with one of our daughters. Yeah, that didn't that work. didn't work. Um, I keep on getting phone calls from some company that wants a phone call back. That's, that's not, not going to happen either. Yeah. We, anyway, it's we can fine. get text messages, oddly enough, over the Wi-Fi, Yeah, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, our cellular carrier s supports that, which is weird. But the conference so far has been going really, yes. really well. The low-carb cruise. The low-carb cruise. So yes. we can kind of do a little recap. We did, it was yesterday and today so far, yep. the, the two uh, conference days. Yep. And let's see if we can remember the people who talked. So today we had Donald Vega, mm -hmm. who has who talked about... Um, I'm going to leave somebody out. Um, oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> we, they t he talked about like self-sabotage and changing your mindset mm -hmm. and repeating um, things back to yourself because... He said there are three things that we um, do to like make an imprinted memory, right? He said it differently than that. I can't remember. But one of them was it's from authority, so like parent to child okay. or like authority figure to you. Then the other one is emotion. And then the third one is repetition. So if you want to remember something or apply something or apply a new habit or something like that, you need to go through those three things. So say yep. you're learning about about keto and you're listening to Eric Westman, like he's the authority on the subject. Dr. Westman also spoke. Yes. So we are hearing it from him and then we were happy when we were hearing it and, and we're having an emotion that says, hey, I, I like this information. We're connecting this good authority moment with an emotion and then re repeat it to ourselves over and over and over again, right? So that's a way that we can get a memory into our brain so that we can um, try to change something, right? So yep. that's kind of what I got out of his talk, which he said yep. before. So if you want to watch that one before we get these all uploaded and ready, he talked at Keto Salt Lake and he did mention some of those things. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Um, Mitzi, Misty, Mitzi Champion. Mi Oh, it's champion. It is champion. Okay. Mitzi. Anyway, she so talked Mitzi. about like how to read scientific studies. Yeah. Among other things. Yeah, it was really great. And how to understand them and the caveats that come along with them and what things are important, what things aren't. Yeah. So the title of the of the thing is often misleading, and so uh, the abstract, you, yes, yeah, and the you title. See the but, title, yeah. and then you go into it. It it's it's almost like they just kind of push it around to say whatever they're wanting to say. And I could yeah. see that because if I was doing something, I would want it to make keto look like it's in a good light, right? So I feel like it's, it's hard to not be biased towards what your opinion is. We're facing the bright, by the way. That's yeah. why I'm squinty. So squinting. Do you want to show them the background real quick? Do you want to see what's out there? There it, there it is. is. Isn't it beautiful? Cruising along. Sing and the And the door. Okay. Go back. Okay, so she talked today, and that was really good. Yep. And then... Um, Dr. Westman spoke. Yep, Dr. Westman spoke. And um, he just he just uh, freestyled it. Mm -hmm. Got up there, no no uh, no slides, and just talked about his experience with mm -hmm. treating people. Kind of a, let's get back down to business. Let's uh, get down to business. Well, and I love how like, refreshing <laughs> it is for him to uh -huh. say, you know, I can't say this for sure because there haven't been studies about yeah. it, right? Um, 
and he kind of gives us an opportunity to be able to question things and to say, you know what, maybe there should be a study about that. Like, how can we make that happen? How can we, you know, look into, maybe there is a study and we just have to figure out how to find it. Yep. Um, and so, you know, he makes us dig a little bit and to question things a little bit. And I think that's really helpful on our journey. Yep. Joe and Rachel spoke, um, how to, uh, shrink your butts. butts. B-U-T-S. Like, I'd like to do this, but I'd like to do that, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, and he used, you know, an example that he's had, you know, commented on their own channel was that I really like your channel, but I don't like vo Joe's voice. Ah, which, you have a stupid shoulder. First of all, that's really <laughs> Your rude, toes right? are gross. <laughs> so you, shouldn't, you shouldn't say things that are mean, <laughs> period. Right? Um, but their whole point was we're on this journey. We're moving forward. But we get stuck in butts. Like, yeah. I want to exercise, but I'm so tired. I want to um, eat really well at this party, but I don't want to miss out with my friends. Or, you know, anything that you could put into the whatever your butt is, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how to get over, you know, kind of those things. Like, try to looking at, you know, from the outside, you know, just a bunch of different tips. And, and just recognizing that we do that. I mm -hmm. feel like that's really important in trying to change as we recognize that what we're doing is actually sabotaging ourselves. And we just have to sometimes say that out loud and be like, oh, that's a but. <laughs> let's, let's maybe uh, think around that, right? Yep. Dr. Ron Rigby spoke. Mm -hmm. He's he also really from Utah. Mm -hmm. um, talked about the different things that they do in their clinic yeah. um, to help people have success. On keto diets. Yeah, and he talked about um, habits, too. He talked about the book that was, I think it's called Keys of Habits. Oh, no, I can't remember. It's another habit book that I have on my list what of habits cheese? to read. No, oh, not habits. Cheese of Habits. It's not mm. that. Um, so he, it was nice because he talked about the, you know, the Q, the... Okay, it's five. Five. Okay, so there's the four things in the circle, right? So the Q is the first thing. Oh, yes. That you're... Tiny you're Habits, Q. he talked about yeah, Oh, that. Tiny Habits. Mm -hmm. That was the book. Sorry. Okay, Q, then what's the next one? I don't remember. I don't remember. Then reward. Yeah, yeah. No, reward's at the end. Yep, sure. There's four things. The first thing is Q. <laughs> the last thing is reward. All I could say was, <laughs> isn't that the pride cycle? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm sure it's great. I just yep. can't remember right now. I think that's all the people who talked today. Yeah. Um, yesterday, Bronson we had talked. Bronson Dant talked. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, I just, I just love stuff. how he talks because he just yeah. he looks the look and walks the walk, right? But he meets you where you are, and he helps us to be motivated to just start a little bit. Like we're talking about, you know, limited mobility and motion, and he's like, "Well, what can you do? Then do that thing." You know, if you you feel like, I think it's so frustrating when we see these fitness buffs or whatever, and you they. Realizing. Sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. I don't know. Maybe it's my watch. It mm -hmm. is probably your watch. Do you have your phone back here? It's behind, uh, it's behind you. Oh, well, that's where it All is. All right, so anyway. now that I've been interrupted. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, limited mobility. So he's saying that um, the reason why we exercise is because we want to keep our mobility, right? Because we want to do our everyday things. So we do things that are hard to help us stay mobile for the things that are not planned. So we do planned motion, mm -hmm. planned exercise for unplanned times because we never know what the world's gonna throw at us and we want to be able to handle whatever comes our way. So we were at the hotel before we got on this ship and the oh, elevator wow. long, long line, long line. The long line at the elevator. It was really long. And Chris just said, well, wanna take the stairs? and." My family said yes, and we each took our two suitcases down three flights of stairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that easy, but it wasn't that hard. No. And I think it's because... People couldn't figure out what we were doing, though. They're like, why are you taking, are you suitcases, taking suitcases, suitcases down the stairs? Because we don't want to wait it's for It's not hard to go people. down stairs with suitcases. Yeah, it's hard to go up. So, anyway, it was, it was fine, but I'm grateful that I have enough strength to be able to do that. See, even though it wasn't easy, it was still relatively easy right mm -hmm. so I'm just grateful that he is able to kind of 
help us see where we're at and help us move forward and just push just a little bit further from where we started so that we can have some improvement so we can keep that mobility for as long as we can. Yeah. And he talks about pushing, pulling, hinging, and what's the last one? No. Oh. Shoving? Kicking? Oh. Punching? <laughs> but one more. Dave Feldman also talked. Yeah. <clears throat> talking about, well, lipids. Well, he was talking about, it was interesting, about how glucose, sugar, blood sugar. Right. There's a lot of studies... This is what I remember from his talk. I need to go back and watch it again. But there were some studies, pre-existing studies, that said, hey, you know what? Too much sugar in your blood makes you get heart disease or artery disease. Ah. And he was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was some It was some interesting stuff. A lot of it was well above the lay person's head. Yeah, it was pretty technical. But it was good. But it, it was good. Um Lots of technical details. Um, the computer that is right there down the thing, that is right now synchronizing all of the different audio and video tracks yes. from uh, the recordings that were done so that we can edit those together and upload them so people can watch them. So do like. we have a plan to put it on our channel? Uh, I was planning on putting it on our channel. Does I'm the assuming Low Carb Cruise have a channel? I don't know that they have a YouTube channel. I think it was going to be okay. posted to the low carb cruise facebook page okay um anyway we'll so his stuff will sure be up you know. now importantly dave decided not to use the laptop that was there at the podium he was using his own laptop yeah which confuses which means me. that we don't have a recording of his screen for the slides yeah but we do we should have the slides so chris is going to try to plug them well, in well i framed it so that no with his i framed it so that you could see the the slides behind oh, it oh that's right it's it's a compromise anyway yeah, it happens um dr Boz, same thing um, she was using her own laptop with her own slide deck and presentation, so we don't have a recording of that one. For so you the, just did it on the side. Yeah, so you can see it. Now, there's um, some stuff at the very bottom that was covered up that you won't be able to see. Oh, yeah, because people's heads were in people's the way. People's heads were in the way. Here on the cruise, we're making do with a lot of stuff. It's like, well, I sure wish I had a 50-foot extension cord. Yeah. But there are none to be had. So um, you're like putting extension cords together. Yeah, and <laughs> the placement of the podium was left a lot to be desired. Yeah. And some guy came up like halfway through the first day and he's like, can we move the podium? Because with their heads right in front of the screen, I can't yeah. get a photo of them. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's the longest HDMI that they have, which puts the podium right in front of the screen. Um, uh, well, and but I Dr. Buzz, you want to talk about her? I, I, I did miss that one. That was oh. the only one I missed. It was really good. I signed the kids up for the flow rider, and it took me an hour. She was also, <laughs> she, her big thing was talking about um, how sugar messes up your iron, the iron in your red blood cells. Oh, okay. And you get glycated. You, sugar gets stuck to the iron that's in your red blood cells okay. and that causes problems and that makes it so that your blood doesn't you get disease in your arteries is the short of it okay speaking of which we forgot about cindy today nurse cindy spoke nurse cindy today talked. um she talked about a lot of stuff she talked about dr digestion. boz was yesterday she talked about um a lot of stuff gut. yeah a lot of stuff gut. about leaky gut um, that was that's what made me remember the Dr. Boz because with Dr. Boz, when sugar is compromising things, it causes leaks and it causes stuff to get into. Yeah. Oh, that's what Dave was talking about. He was talking about. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent here. How the the damage that the high carbohydrate stuff causes makes it so that your blood. The lining of your blood vessels pulls LDL into it okay. in order to help fix things, if I'm, if I'm remembering this correctly. And because it does that, that's why you get a buildup of 
of cholesterol inside of your artery walls mm -hmm. when nothing should ever be passing through that it's actually your body is deliberately pulling it in and why it's pulling it in and all the mechanisms of that so dr boz her thing uh, she was making an uh, her ana analogy that she was using was that the stuff that you find in zits all that uh, plasma and stuff. Well, the pus and all that other stuff. It's, it's that, there's a lot of fatty acids and stuff. Okay. That the the problems that you run into due to high glucose in your blood is kind of like zits inside of your um, arteries. And so oh, she was okay. talking all about that. Anyway, recording's really good. Yeah, well, I'm going to watch it for sure yeah. because I'm sad I missed it. But sometimes sad, you have sad, to sacrifice sad. for your family. That's true. And they are here, and just because we're at a conference doesn't mean that they have to sit <laughs> in their room for eight hours. Okay, this was remarkable to me. I'm going off on a bit of a tangent. I, while Dr. Westman was talking, yes, I started thinking, he said something about, you know, all of you people are here at this conference. And I thought, isn't that we're funny? You've got, well, you've got quite a number of people who have paid to come on a cruise yeah and on the days at sea which a lot of people come on the cruise and don't even get off the boat mm -hmm. i've actually talked to some speakers who aren't planning on getting off the boat they're like mm -hmm. they're like no you know what i'm good i'm just gonna chill out but on the days that we're at sea which would typically be the relax lounge around don't do anything their idea of fun is sitting at the very lowest deck that they let us go on and hearing people pontificate about health and wellness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we we want to go on I, a I thought that and was, talk about health. I thought that that was, that was funny rather profound. That. Yeah. Anyway, he didn't say that. I just That's what I thought. No, that's what he said. He Did said he that. say that? He said, all you okay. are on this cruise that and must you're be in this classroom learning about yeah. nutrition. So that's what got me thinking. Okay, so maybe he did say it. Maybe that's why I thought of it because he said it. Uh. Yeah, it was smart. You guys anyway, were thinking of the same thing. Um, but I, I just thought it was remarkable. Uh, let's see who else spoke yesterday. Um, I was trying to remember who was on the panel. Doctor Barry spoke. Mm -hmm. He did a great job. What he did, he's been doing this a lot lately, is just asking for questions. Yeah. And then that question usually leads Turns to Turns out question. you don't have to prepare a question. presentation if you just, just ask the questions. questions. So It was good, though. It, he really was good. Um, let's see. Who else was on that panel? Um, uh, Mary Roberts talked. Mary Roberts. Coach Mary. Yes. She oh, was talking. On purpose. Okay. Yes. Because this thing would be at the back of my like neck. The neck was on his shoulder. And... It was bugging, bugging in the back of my neck. And I said, I why don't I put it on the side of my neck instead? That way it won't bug me. It'll bug everyone else. Yes. So Mary mostly told her story uh -huh. about um, bulimia, about addiction. her addiction and yeah. sobriety from carbs. And yep. I thought that was a really interesting way that she put it was that she, she is sober, carb sober. Yep. And she talked about how, you know, she can't have a cheat day. She can't have... You know all these things because you wouldn't give an alcoholic alcohol, yeah. right? You wouldn't offer that to them because you would never want them to go down that slope, down that slippery nope. slope again. And so the same goes with a lot of us here on on this cruise. And some people can moderate, and that's okay. That's their them, and if they can handle it, great. But some people can't. Yep. And Mary said she's one of those. So it was really nice I'm to. One of those, so to hear her. She was the first speaker of the whole conference, and, yeah. and we just keep coming back to that. She's the opening act. Yeah, so it was really good. Uh, was good. Debbie. Debbie Potts spoke. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, she was talking about I'm trying to remember. Um, health, we didn't take health stuff. notes. We I did not. A pad of paper. I didn't have to take notes. I'm recording the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I take notes? Well, plus he's worried about making sure to get it right, so it's not like he has time to take notes anyway. No, my um, whole my whole focus is technicality, making sure mm -hmm. that I'm not getting feedback and people keep on saying, "Hey, can you talk louder?" And I'm like, "I have it boosted all the way without they getting feedback." Yeah. The problem is, it's a signal to noise ratio. If the person isn't talking loudly or they're not talking into the microphone, yeah. 
then I have to raise the entire volume and that's where you start to get the feedback. Yeah. And so someone who speaks so loudly boring. into the microphone, it works real good. Yeah, so get those guys up there talking with their deep voices that are loud. Or you just basically shove the microphone oh, right into your that. mouth. And uh, I'm not talking. Boost this. Uh, well, and uh, it doesn't help that the um, the the venue that we're at has the audio turned up very loud in the front of the room. Yeah. And almost to nothing at the back of the room. Yeah. And I cannot figure out how to adjust it. And the lady that works here doesn't really know that. She just says, if you used our microphone, if you used it would our work. microphone, it would be fine. I'm like, no, it wouldn't. I plugged into your microphone. I think she's not. She's just not understanding that there's actually a problem. So we're just dealing with what we yeah. have. And, and she is nice. So we're not like mad at her or hate her. It's just kind of frustrating. It's frustrating to not be able to get the assistance you need at the venue. Right? Yes. Also, the when we came back from lunch yesterday, uh, the screens wouldn't turn on, and I plugged in and unplugged and plugged in and unplugged the the video yeah. HDMI, and she's like, "Well, did you plug it in?" I'm like, "It's plugged in right now," and so she unplugged it and plugged it in and unplugged it and plugged it in, and then while she was it, we were supposed to go live in like three minutes, oh, wow. and I was a little freaking out, and I unplugged and plugged it back in again, and it worked. I guess you had to do it five times. Apparently. Um, also, <laughs> I spoke people. yesterday. That was, yeah. um, I talked about the importance of getting the right kind of nutrients. Yeah, which is pretty much like what you versions. guys have heard us talk about for years. Yeah. It's just like the magnesium talk and the D3, K2, mm -hmm. and uh, different. Yeah. Iron. Well, because we were, we were doing a live stream. And I think you said I you should give that. Need to talk about yeah, that. Talk, talk about that on your uh, for your presentation. I'm I like, okay. had multiple people come up to me and ask me what magnesium you were talking about that was the right one. I'm yep. like, tell me what you're taking. Short version. Yeah, that's good. There's three <laughs> kinds that are good. Oxide is terrible. Uh huh. Uh, magnesium. Uh, cl no. Citrate. Citrate will make you go to the bathroom, but you can absorb it. And then you got all those other ones like orotate, malate, glyconate, glyconate. And chloride, which your body is able to absorb just fine. Yep. Um, and it's all because, yeah, it's my, watch my talk. Oh, I have it uploaded pretty yeah. soon. Also, we've talked about it on live streams a yes, lot. Yes, we have. So anyway, we use magnesium malate from Keto Trap. <laughs> I did um, pull up a, <laughs> I just said, okay, it's exercise time. And um, I, I had a, a nutrition panel from... Uh, not to be specified keto product and well, all the ingredients and I'm like well here's the one they got right they have vitamin D3 yeah and here's all the I ones they, they got K2 wrong also. no they had K1 oh really they had magnesium oxide yeah. they had the wrong D6 they had the wrong uh, folate mm. and then he brought up ingredients of an egg well, that was in the I made I was trying to make the point of just because something has a long name doesn't mean that that means it's bad. Right. Things that are in food naturally like eggs have technical names. Chemically names to them. They just do. It's how we describe that thing and mm -hmm. sometimes the form is very important. Yep. And then I made the point that sometimes the form well the way that you got to something is not important like water water is water is water is water as long as it's not contaminated with something water is water is water is water whether you burn stuff and make carbon dioxide and water hey new water cool or you have water that's been in an elephant and then in people during the Black Plague and was in a sewer and ended up in a distilled bottle of whiskey for 15 years and then now it is a distilled water in a CPAP machine. It's just water, if it it's just, water. It's, if it goes through the proper yeah. cycles to clean, yes. then so it's water. There are times where if you, as long as you have a pure source of something, it doesn't matter. It just is what it is. 
My point being vitamin C. Uh, vitamin yes. C. We get that question a lot where people are like, where is your vitamin C from? If it's oranges, then everybody thinks it's yes. going to have sugar in it. Well, no, it's the problem. It's not that. Okay. I'm so wrong. vitamin C, there's two ways you can get it. You can take um, citrus fruit peels and extract it in very small batches of just a couple of hundred kilos at a time. Or you can run pure glucose through a fungus that you find on the skins of fruit. And it will make vitamin C as one of the byproducts. Then you take that and you extract out the uh, pure vitamin C and you crystallize it so that you can make sure it's pure. And that's vitamin C. It's exactly the same molecule. There is no difference. But you will have a lot of people that will say, Is your vitamin C from black mold and corn? It doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. If the mold was not treated fairly, <laughs> it matters. But anyway, so yeah, I gave a presentation as well. Yeah. And I didn't have that today. I actually figured out how to hook up a wireless monitor and stick it in front of the oh, yeah. presenters. That would be helpful. I didn't have that yesterday. Because somebody asked for so it. So I had to keep on. Oh, Cindy asked for it. Yeah, Cindy asked for it, and I was like, "Wait, I have the stuff to do that." Yeah. Hold why, on. Let me grab I... my tablet. Thank you, Samsung S8. Um, yeah, thank you, Samsung. Tab. So, uh, who else talked yesterday that we were not remembering? <sighs> I it was Mary think... and you and somebody before that and somebody after that. Just look it up real quick, and then we can be done. Okay. Because we'll have to it's in uh, the date. Scroll up. Scroll up. I'm, scroll up. I'm yellow. On, I'm working on it. Oh, sorry. It's orange. It's blue. Oh, yours is blue. Nope, that's the one. It says day one. still okay okay so we had um mary roberts dave feldman talked yesterday yep. bronson talked yesterday yep. dr boz dr boz and ken berry well that was it we nailed it we covered it covered all right everybody. this is going to take forever to upload so i know sorry thanks I hope everybody you can see it i hope it's not too uh shaky and we're grateful to spend some we're time we're on a with freaking you boat you know this evening <laughs> and we're going to go scuba diving tomorrow yep Yay! all right Bye. Bye.